I'm here with Glenn on the Sagenta stand. Glenn, what are you showcasing today? Hi there. Uh, yeah, we're looking at Ryder today. We've got Ryder on the stand. It's a, a pigment that we're delivering. It's a highly concentrated pigment. Doing quite a lot of work with it and trial work on it in high light conditions. It's really good at limiting UV stress. Looking at that quite in depth at the moment, and UV light stress is kind of a secondary stress that kind of backs in on the back of disease and cold and heat and other issues. And we're finding we can manage turf really well with this product it's just adding extra value to the turf. It's a great tank mix product and it's going really well. People are really interested in it. What time of year would you see the best results from a Pine Rider then? So we're doing some work on kind of fungicide longevity at the moment and how you can use it in that. So it's got a use in the winter. Uh, through the high light, the high periods of the summer, it's really useful as well through the long days with the high light stress levels. It really is becoming a product that we can see and we're starting to learn have got real value at different times of years for different purposes. It's quite important to target where you're using it, but it's, it's showing some real value. We haven't really uncovered exactly how many uses there are for it yet, but we're working really hard on it. Am I right in thinking that it was used at last year's Ryder Cup? Yep, yep, so the clue's in the title. It's, uh, it's uh, They were using it at the Ryder Club. They used it all the way through the preparation process during the week. They used it for a couple of reasons. One, just to lift colour a little bit, which is the added benefit of it, but also just to reduce the amount of stress going on whilst they were managing them at quite a high level. So, yep, Ryder was there. I'm now here with Daniel on the Sagenta stand, and he's going to talk us through a little bit of the education that they've got. Yeah, it, we, what we've got behind you is some just augmented reality for our kind of understanding of soil pests. It's a real big issue in greenkeeping at the moment that there's not a lot of insecticides or no insecticides registered on the market. But we're working on something, we've got solutions coming forward. So what we really wanted to do is give people a really good idea of how to manage soil pests better, shaver grubs as you can see behind me, and leather jackets, and just really develop the education so green keepers are better aware and better at kind of finding solutions. So there's not currently anything you can apply to, to help with the pests? No, no, there's not. So last year we worked with the STRI to uh, develop a emergency authorization for a product, and so green keepers had a product for a very short period of time, but that's finished now, so currently there isn't anything on the market. But we're working really, really hard to get a new emergency authorization and also more importantly for a product for the long term but it's a tough environment a really tough process to get new insecticides especially so it's a lot of hard work but we're really committed to doing it and hopefully we can deliver something you know really really soon